Uh, hello, the following worksheet is available on www.eclassroom.co.za. Okay, we're working from the mathematical literacy, grade 10, worksheet 3, income and expenditure. Um, now, the reason why we're doing this worksheet now is there's some work, a lot of the work um, is also in the grade 11 syllabus, and this is a wonderful worksheet with the income and expenditure statement. All right, so Mr. and Mrs. Book Mr. and Mrs. Book Bukopane have decided that they need to start saving money to go on holiday in December. They decide that the best way to do this would be to draw up a budget and work out how much money they are able to save for the holiday. They decide to put all the money left over after the expenses into their holiday. So the Bukopane budget for June 2012 to November 2012. Okay, so here we have the monthly income and the monthly expenditure. Okay, so salary after deductions and rent income. So they probably have a, um, a, a, a flat or a house that they rent out. I just want to make it as large as possible to see the whole thing at once and also to um, okay yeah okay so they, they have expenses is pension medical aid insurance rates and taxes water and refuge uh, electricity car repayment school fees food clothing petrol entertainment cell phone maintenance on rental income savings is nine percent of the total income total and the holiday budget Okay, so calculate the amount of money that the Booker Party family put into savings every month. Okay, so what they do is they take their total income, which is 28,150 28, times 9%. So you either say 28,150 times 9 divided by 100 or 28,150 times 0,09. Okay, and that equals... Um, ooh, this is slightly too small. This is uh, 20, uh, 2,533 rand 50 cents. Calculate the total expenditure of the Bukopane household. Right, so it is pension plus medical aid plus insurance, rates and taxes, water and refuge, electricity, car repayment, school fees, food, clothing, petrol, entertainment, cell phone maintenance and their savings. So, I don't know if that will actually be an expense but for practical purposes it is the money that goes out of their account. So it's 26,423 Rand 50. So all you do is you just plus those values together. Mr. and Mrs. Bukopane save for the holidays for six months. Calculate the total amount of money saved for the holiday. Right. So it is the income minus the monthly expenditure and that is 1,726 Rand 50 cents. That's what they save per month. The Bukopane family found three different and if you times that by six for six months you get 10,359 Rand. Okay, I think that should be part of question C. Um, uh, sorry, there's a, there's a, in, a, a difference. Um, it should probably say, see, what is their monthly expenditure? Uh, uh, how much money can they save per month? And then D, Mr. and Mrs. Pokopane save for six months. Calculate the total amount of money. So this is, will be E on the memo. Do you see that this is E? Okay, so the... F um, the Bukopane family found three different accommodation options for their holiday. Use the information below to choose the best accommodation option for the family. The family have decided they will stay over for seven nights and they found out that the cost of meal for four will be a minimum of 400 rand. They pack sandwiches for lunch. 
Okay, so the first one is a Cody B&B bed and breakfast offers accommodation for 750 per day, uh, 750 rand per day for the whole family, and it includes a breakfast. Uh, then there's a waterfall hotel, 1,400 per day for the tiny family and for the entire family and includes all means, uh, all meals. And then lastly, they um, a 750, 370 rand per person um, per day and this includes a buffet breakfast and spa treatments. Um, the family consists out of four people okay so that's just something you have to keep in mind for option three okay so option one 750 times seven is 5250 plus 400 times seven that's 2800 rand so that is 8050 rand option two is 1400 rand is that equals 9800 rand and it includes entertainment um then option three is 370 times four times seven that's 10,030 400 times seven is 2,800 and that is 13,160 and it excludes entertainment for the kids okay and then the question is um, to choose the best accommodation for the family Okay, that's not answered. So the best accommodation, um, they have 10,359 rand. So if they choose option A, it's cheapest, but then they still need some extra money for the entertainment. And they have, a, sorry, I keep on going back, but I don't check them out. They have about 2,300 they have 2,309 rand for entertainment. Okay, then option two is 1,750 more expensive, but it includes entertainment. Okay, and then the last one is too expensive, so we can't take that. So you just have to motivate. Um, oh, here it is. They can. Um, of they can get option one and option two um, it falls into their bu budget um, but it, this one includes meals so they have to be back at the hotel for for meals as well so they can't go on a sightseeing tour so you might choose one because then you can eat wherever you want um, and you can go for drives in the nature and whatever or you can say entertainment is more important so we're just going to spend the seven days at the hotel okay so it's your own opinion the Bukapani family decides after their holiday that they will keep saving the same amount of money after five months Mr. Bukapani realized that he could put this money into an interest bearing account to maximize his saving how much money does Mr. Bukapani have to put in his savings account after five months right um the the uh, so thousand seven hundred and twenty six rand fifty times five is eight thousand six hundred and thirty two rand fifty cents. The interest earned uh, by Mr. Pocopano over six months with the interest rate at nine percent per annum, and this would be simple interest. Okay, so he takes the eight thousand six hundred thirty two rand fifty. He save it for half a year for six months is half a year so it's 0.09 percent times five um all what you can do is you can work out the interest on this um 8632 rand 50 work out the interest for six months and then add it to the total but then in the end he has 9020 rand 96 cents we'll do interest rate uh in the in the uh next unit um oh, sorry in unit 12 in module 12 so then we'll discuss more about this so for the time being you can just ignore b and then lastly question three mr pokopani gets a raise in his salary and after the deductions it increased to twenty eight thousand four hundred and sixty 
calculate the total income for the Bokopane family. Okay, so it's now the monthly income plus the rent income, and that is 32,810. Mr. Bokopane decides to buy a second car, and he can get a new car for 135,000. Um, at 11% interest, what will his monthly car repayments be? Okay, so it's 135,000 uh, plus 11 percent times 5. Um, 11 percent of 135,000 is a 14,850. If you times it by 5, it's 74,250. Divide by 60, it's 5 years, it's 12 months, it's 60 months. So the monthly repayment should be 3,400 and 87 rand and 50 cents. Okay, thank you very much.